Welcome back into another one of our standout student interviews. Chance for us to talk with Scout McMurray from Buena Vista High School and Scout. The senior year going on right now. How's it been going for you? Pretty good. It's really fun to be a senior. It just feels kind of weird, but super cool. And it's nice to know what I'm doing in school. <laughs> you talk about waiting for the senior year. A lot of classes go into that, which gives you a lot of time to learn what your, your favorite class is. But you don't really have a favorite. You, you kind of just like everything. Yeah, I really like most of my classes. I'd say one of my favorites is definitely AP World because I do enjoy history and I really like Mr. Revis as a teacher and geology also because it's going to be really neat to learn about rocks with Miss Lemoncelli. You uh, you were talking about geology and one of the cool things about that one here, you guys get to go out on a lot of cool field trips for that one and get to kind of have the hands on. Does that get you even more amped up when you get to go out and, and see what they're talking about rather than just, oh, here's a pebble that looks like what we're talking about? Most definitely. It's really neat to have that opportunity here because it's going to spark my enjoyment of the class even more, knowing we're going to really go explore geology and what is a part of the class. Talk a little bit about what you like in teachers. What are some of the things that make a good teacher for you and a good learning environment for you? I like the teachers that have a structure and that um, still are able to include fun in your class and keep you involved with different and new ways of teaching styles. And yeah. Any teachers here who have really kind of jumped out at that and, and, and kind of shown themselves off as, as being able to do that? Um, definitely Mr. Revis. He really knows how to make AP World and any of his classes really fun and keep us involved. Even with his lectures, he keeps us engaged and makes sure we're paying attention. And then we do fun activities that include. And Miss Lemoncelli as well also does a different kind of structure, but she has lots of labs and different field trips that really keep kids excited about there. There's a lot of stuff uh, to do in the school, but one of the things that you do, you do the, a lot of sports at the school, but one of the things that is outside of the school, but still a very educational thing that you do is 4-H. This year, you, you did a bit more of a challenging 4-H project, two 4-H projects, in <laughs> fact. Talk a little bit about uh, what 4-H is like and what exactly you learned this year. 4-H really promotes agriculture and it promotes the youth that we all come together and learn about animals and how to raise them and stuff. And I think that it's really neat to be a part of since I was eight. And this year I took a steer for the first time, which was definitely harder and a lot more work, but really worth it. I had a great time learning what it takes to turn them into a show steer and how much washing and other things you have to do to get them prepped for a show and I actually ended up getting reserve grand champion which was a super big deal for me especially because it was our homegrown McMurray Land and Livestock Beef which is a really big deal because you're going up against club calves and ranch pasture calves so it's really neat to have that different competition and learn about how agriculture can be judged. Well, and then you got to go and not only learn how to show steers and, 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 and swine like you had, but you had to go and do the other five types of animals as well. What was it like learning on the fly and, and having to adjust it, kind of the, the teaching styles or the showing styles? It was definitely really hard to show um, the other species. I really struggled with my um, rabbit because you have to try to flip them over, which is really hard. And also with the goats because I just... It was really hard to pull my goat around, and I did not know what I was doing. But it was a really fun experience to see what other kids in 4-H are learning how to show when I've grown up only showing pigs. I, I got to say, goats are like the, the burrows of the animal world. Like, they're just a smaller burrow with helmets. Uh, talk a little bit about college. You're, you're getting set to go off to college after this year. Where to go isn't necessarily the question, but do you know what you want to go into? Um, I think I definitely want to go into a hospitality, tourism, and resorts um, realm because I really like people, and I think and traveling is one of my passions. So I think I can do well in that field to get people excited about traveling and help them feel welcome. You definitely seem personal, but <laughs> personable enough for it. We'll wrap it up with two questions about the high school, though. If you could give advice to somebody coming to school here, what would it be? Uh, whether they're a freshman, junior, but somebody coming to the doors for the first time. Um, my advice would be to be involved because being involved in sports or um, clubs that we have around the school really help you keep your um, GPA up and help you reach out and make new friends. And I also think try to stay on top of it. It's really hard to be organized, but being organized in school is really going to help everyone out. And your teachers are going to be a lot more lenient with you if they see that you're trying to stay organized and on top of everything with school. And finally, what will you remember most about Buena Vista High School? When you leave here, what are some of the things that you're going to take with you? 
I'm definitely going to take the community because we have a community not like any other school where everybody cares about everybody and we all are okay checking in on each other. So I want to take that hospitality that our school gives and bring it to wherever I go. I also think the pep at school, just the spirit around and the environment, I will hopefully carry on because that's really important here. Scout, thanks so much for the time. Good luck as you keep going on through your senior year and uh, good luck through the through the rest of it. Thank you. <laughs>